my last set dungeon ever. Let's go. So, my last set dungeon ever, what I mean by that is, after I've done this one, the Thorns of the Invoker set dungeon, I've done absolutely every set dungeon in the game currently, and I've completed a guide for all of them as well. Check out my homepage in my channel, and in there, in the Diablo section, I've got all the classes, separate six classes, and when you click on the classes playlists, you will access all of the set dungeons, all of the build guides that I've done, and all of the separate guides and tips and tricks I've done for that specific class. So everything's there. This is the last one. Whatever you're looking for, any set dungeon, it'll be on my homepage in the Diablo section with all the classes listed. Having said that, let's get on with the Thorns of the Invoker set dungeon. If you want a rundown on the build in depth, check out the description below. I'll post a link of the actual build video I've done. I'm going to run through my skills and my gear really quickly in this video. But if you want to know more about the build, check out the build video itself. This video is for the set dungeon and how to complete the set dungeon. But don't worry, I'm going to go through everything really quickly. We're going to start off with skills. We're using Punish with Celerity. We're using Consecration, Bed of Nails. Iron Skin, Reflective Skin. Steed Charge, Spiked Barding. Provoke with Hit Me. Akrat's Champion, Prophet. The passive skills we're using, Indestructible. Hold Your Ground. Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden. Fervor. The gear we're using are the six pieces of invokers, which is the helm, the shoulders, the gloves, the pants, the boots, and the braces. We're using the Traveler's Pledge and the Compass Rose. We're using the belt of the Trove. I'm using Justice Lantern. Uh, the weapon that we're using is Hack, but as most of you will know, you can use Pig Sticker as well. I prefer Hack because I like to hack shit. Uh, the shield that we're using is Voitoya's Spiker. And we're going to go through Kenai's Cube just down here. Weapon, Akarat's Awakening, Armor, Heart of Iron, Jewelry, Convention of Elements. Now, boys and girls, this shit is fucking easy. I'm telling you now, I first shot at this set dungeon. So, luckily, I recorded myself first shotting it. Because if I didn't, then it kind of would have ruined the video. But anyway, I was recording, so we're all good. Now, a few things we need to do before we actually go to the entrance of the set dungeon. The first thing is, make sure that your follower has been dismissed. You can see I've already dismissed my follower. I usually use the Enchantress, so we'll hire her for argument's sake. If you've got your follower equipped, dismiss them. So they don't interfere in the business we got to do. The next thing is, you don't want to have too much thorns damage. So we're going to remove both rings, like so. We're going to remove Belt of the Trove, because we don't want Bombardment. We're going to remove the Traveler's Pledge, and that'll do. We're ready to go. Those four items should do us. And just before we head to the entrance, let's go through the objectives in detail. So the first objective you can see here is, get hit by 75 spears thrown by blood and moon clan enemies. So the bastards that are in this set dungeon and throw the spears at you, they're the ones that we need to be careful not to kill too quickly because we got we got to allow them to throw spears so we get this objective. That is why we took out four items of our thorns so we don't kill them too quickly. Uh -huh. You're probably wondering, what the fuck's this motherfucker doing taking out these items? I've taken out the items so we don't kill these guys too quickly so we achieve this objective. Believe me, trust in Bannock 13. The second objective is kill five elites while standing in consecration with iron skin active there are only five elites in this entire set dungeon all we have to do is time our iron skin and consecration for these elites i don't use those two abilities for any other time in the set dungeon everything else is the same you know complete all the objectives within the time limit uh you know you can't die and game difficulty has no effect on dungeon difficulty we're going for mastery boys and girls we're not doing no shitty you know get one objective achievement. We're going for the mastery achievement here. So we're going to do all the objectives within the time limit. You with me? Let's go. So we've dismissed our follower. You've taken out the items that I've told you to take out. You know what your skills are. 
and you also know the can ice cube shit that we're using so that's pretty much all you need to know like i said if you want in-depth build information check out the description below and check out the build video what we want to do is open the map and go to act one and we're going to new tristram we're going to where we actually start in this game when we first started playing holy shit it seems like an eternity ago so we head on to the new tristram gate here and we literally go back to where we start the game. You guys remember this? Overlook Road. Holy shit. The nostalgia. The nostalgia. We keep heading here to this little corner here. And then bang. Thorns of the Invoker set dungeon. Let's go in and complete this shit. Final set dungeon, motherfuckers. Let's do it. And there's actually no rush for this one. We got plenty of time. It's ultra easy. There's those spear motherfuckers. Let them throw some spears at you. Don't worry. It's very unlikely they will kill us. If you do run low on health, just get in there and kill them. There's some more there. Whenever you get the chance, just let them throw some spears at you. It's no problem. We got this. Once you get a few hits, just go and kill them and move on. So we've only got to remember to get a few hits with the spears and then also consecration iron skin for the elites that's it and we cruise on through it's really really not one of those time critical ones like some of the uh, barbarian ones uh, a couple of wizard ones monk as well we're really 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 hard with time always ran out of time but hey we've done them all after this one we are done boys and girls we've done every single set dungeon in the game and there's a guide for all of them so be sure to check out my diablo section on my home page in my channel and we just glide on through like oh there we go some spear throwers i was gonna say if you don't have any spear throwers just kill that shit just kill them come on throw some spears at me boys miss you probably don't want too much block either because if you block the spears i don't think they'll count as you know getting hit by them but either way it seems to be working for us now anyway so we're not blocking everything which is good don't forget to check out the little nooks and crannies I haven't seen an elite yet which is odd but that's okay guarantee there'll be five in here we just can't there's one there's one speak of the devil and here appears so make sure Iron Skin, Consecration, and kill that Elite. Make sure you're standing in your Consecration. Don't like target it at the Elite. You have to be standing in it, the Crusader, not the Elite. Just so you know. Burn in the light, bitch. Die. Take that Steed Charge. So we move on through. Get a couple Spears. What is it, 68? We're getting there. Come on, hit me with your spears, boys. We're nearly there. 71. Let's just get them all now. Let's get it all over and done with. Let's get this objective done. Come on, give me one more. We didn't get it. We need one more. That's alright, we got it. We're bound to run into one more spear in the set dungeon. Oh, there's another elite. So if you come across an elite when you got cooldowns, run away from that motherfucker and then go in once you get your cooldowns. Well, once you can activate Iron Skin and Consecration. We move on up. Oh, there's another one. We didn't see. We haven't quite got the cooldown, but that's alright. Now we have. Bang, bang. Kill the Elite. Success! We need one more Elite. We need one more Spear thrown at us. <laughs> Imagine there's no more Spear throwers. That would be absolutely, absolutely devastating. There we go. Plenty of them. We got that shit. We got that spear thrower shit. So yeah, it's just this is how easy it is, guys. You don't want to do too much uh, thorns damage. It's very wise to take out a few items like I did. Unless you've got really shitty gear and you, you, you're you not high paragon levels. Just, you know, test it out yourself. Try it with all of your gear in. And if you're not doing too much damage, then hey, you'll be fine. If you find yourself killing these spear throwers a bit too quick, then take some take some items out. Here's another elite. We're gonna complete this. And now we just gotta finish the set dungeon. We've got 40 seconds. Boom! There it is, boys and girls. My very last set dungeon ever. And when I say that, 
I mean at the moment because when the Necromancer class comes out, I'm assuming that they're going to have another four set dungeons coming out with that class. We'll be doing guides for those motherfuckers too. So all I can say is be sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned to the channel and we'll go through those Necromancer set dungeons as soon as they're out. Thanks for the support, boys and girls. I love you all. The set dungeons are my favorite videos that I make. And the fact that you people watch me means the absolute world to me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart.